So we got a call for, I think it's a, what is it, a Honda CRV? Yep. Got a Honda CRV out here in Warner Valley. They have high centered themselves. We're gonna go out here and see if we can get them out of that situation and back on the road. Got Jamie here with the weather. It's like 90 degrees and guess what? It's raining. We've been waiting for this forever. Monsoon season has hit. But we've never had rain here before. We're getting close. We might even get there before dark. So I think they're right down there in the wash. This might be their tracks. Those are big bumps, man. Those are, bumps. those are foot and a half high. <laughs> you have to hold on. I think the CRV might be a little bit out of its element on this particular road. They're going to have to learn about the breakover angle. I think they're just trying to high centered on a gravel bar. All right, we'll get up here and see what we're looking at. centered Well, lightning, did you get it? No. There's lightning all around us, Jamie can't get it. Those cliffs you see up there, they go all along there, all along there. You gotta look through those bushes to see it. But the sand dunes are up there and there's no real way off of there. There's a dirt bike trail right there that you can get down. It's like a level 10 dirt bike trail, so it's not super easy. But the, the whole Hurricane Sand Dunes OHV area is all up on top of there but it kind of extends down here into Warner Valley. And that's Arizona. So this gal was rescued by Trevor and Skeeter a couple days ago. Hello. Hey, thanks for coming. So what happened? Um, I started to drive up, I got stuck, huh? and then I rolled back, so I wonder I couldn't make it up there. Oh. So she's a repeat customer. We're able to get her out of her situation, send her off uh, down the road. Heard her hit a couple times on the way. <laughs> Woohoo! There, you got it. You got the lightning. But anyway, we got her on her way, and we are now on our way. We're just gonna kind of enjoy the lightning and the weather. It's just gonna be a really nice evening to just continue our working date. Our working date. All right. So since Hefe is making me fix his trailer, we came down to flog. I got Nathan here. He says he's gonna whip me out two of these. And we can fix Hefe's trailer. These guys are awesome. They built us lots of custom stuff for the wrecker. Um, that's not their main work though. Their main work is bumpers. Mostly bumpers. Okay. So we do a couple other things. If you get into a pinch and you need something custom made, 
if you talk to these guys, they'll probably hook you up with that too, but they make some awesome bumpers. We're gonna be getting one for Blue Steel. Don't forget Flog Fest. September 23rd and 24th, coming right up. We're gonna be hanging out <laughs> with them, doing some cool stuff, giving away some stuff. It's gonna be awesome. This will work. Well, awesome. These guys at Flog are good. They're fast. They're accurate. This looks right. Oh, yeah. It's right. These are finished all except for paint. And we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go put them on and put them to work. Ta-da. So we got a call for a Chevy truck that's broken a ball joint or some sort of suspension component. They're up here on the Torquerville Falls Road. So we're heading up here to see if we can get them loaded on a trailer and get them out of here. We got Skeeter here with the weather. It's about 92 degrees right now. The day has been amazing. So we got Trevor and Lizzie behind us in the banana. We're gonna need a support vehicle for sure. Who knows exactly what all is gonna happen between now and getting them off the mountain here, but I'm sure we'll do it. And we'll do it with a song in our heart. Or as Ed would say, we'll get them out. Lizzie and I are following the more bear out in the banana. We are the support vehicle today. I got my barbecue chicken for lunch and all be set to go. I even got them now. Of course. You in low range? I think Matt just called us losers. Did you see that? He He's all. Just making sure we're not cooking our transmissions. So Matt's torn in like 20 different directions all day long, every day. So I said we're gonna clone him. That'd be nice. <laughs> so once again, we're uh, pressing our on-road trailer into off-road service. And I'm not too happy about it because it seems like we always have to end up fixing a bunch of stuff on it when we get back. Maybe we'll get lucky today. Maybe we won't do any damage to it. Ah, uh, we don't need luck, Matt. We're just good. Is that arrogant? It's not arrogant if you work hard for it, right? It's not arrogant if you believe it. I'm six foot two. <laughs> I believe it. This is one rough road. It used to be nice. It did. Lots of traffic on this road. And I hate to say it, but the side-by-sides are very hard on these roads. I'm not judging you as a person for driving a side-by-side, -side, but I'm also not going to sugarcoat the facts. Side-by-sides tear up roads. Is that our truck right there? Yeah, that is. Ooh. Yep, so this upper ball joint busted. Is that a dad noise? Trevor? Yep, I'm getting old. Trevor, you know what you need? Huh. For all that grunting and groaning? What's that? Some triactin. Triactin like a man. Triactin? Yep, triactin oh, tri like a man. <laughs> Tell me what it's doing. Yeah, we're just hitting that arm and now it's rotating, rotating back. On a, back. It might yeah, back on a trailer. I yeah. think so. Yeah. I'm going to get up around it and then we're going to back it on the trailer. Like that's the hard way against gravity, but I think it's going to be the best way because I think that'll stay on and walk on. And then we'll figure out how to turn around later. <laughs> You're all right. Uh, maybe not. Jump in it, Lizzie. Physics going to work with us or against us keeping this tire here. Uh -huh. So your throttle response and steering input matter to what this wheel is going to do. So you've got to watch the wheel. Okay. you got to watch me. 
you gotta let me pull, you gotta help. Like, this is just a joint effort. The code word is, come on. That's just let off the gas, the brake a little bit. Come on. That's, that's what I yell to my horses when they're in the pasture. And I need to get them out of the pasture. I'm like, come on. And I have some grain and then they come around. How's the ramps looking? That's good. Good. This is going very, very smooth. When it could go the exact opposite. Good going, right? <laughs> okay. Um, just hold the brakes. Okay, Lizzie, back up really gently. Okay. Put it in park, set the brake, roll the window up, turn it on, come on down. Now you're going to be scraping on the way down with that extra weight on there. You think? Yeah. I Maybe think this is little. going to be a little bit of a battle to get turned around, but I think we can do it. driving. Looks like a derby driver to me. Gonna make it? This is way too easy of a recovery. If only you had been doing it for another 20 years before, you <laughs> would have been even faster. There's guys that can do it faster. <laughs> All right, we're loaded up. We're headed to Roadrunner Automotive to drop this off. We got Peanut back there and we got Skeeter. Trevor and Lizzie picked up the customers, and away we go that way. All right, we're here at Roadrunner. Let's go find out where they want it. I bet you don't make it off. Just kick it. Keep taking it bets. We're taking bets. How about this? I, I bet that we have to fight it a lot to get it off. And you don't think we'll have to? No. Okay, I'm gonna say we're gonna fight it, and you're gonna say we're not. Okay, and the so winner, right the winner off. buys a snow cone. As long as. Okay. Awesome. It's not energizing. What about the flips, switches you're flipping? Oh. What are you touching? What are you touching? The connector on the back is loose and I can't quite reach it. I think the ignition from 1961 finally went kaput. It's been one of those days for a year. Hey, we're getting snow cones in like 10 minutes, so. It's all fine. good. We got one way or another. So does this count as trouble getting it off the trailer? Yes, it no, is. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this ain't the trailer. This is the more bear. This counts as sabotage, if that's the case. <laughs> cheap connectors. Cheap connectors. It wasn't even the old ignition. It was cheap connectors. <laughs> so there's the problem right there. Wiring issues. Okay, Lizzie, roll forward, put it in drive, and, and let it just come real slow. Okay, stop. That's how you know when you're doing something, if you're making a lot of noise. Slower, slower, going too dang smooth. Oh, oh. so it's creaky. If I didn't have a bed in this, I'd just be like, yeah. Okay, Trevor, you get the snow cone. That's right. Okay, but you only get me. one flavor, only one. Man, I was really hoping you were going to smash that Miata and buy me a new one. That's the whole reason I had you put it there. My treat today, Trevor. Thanks, Skeeter. <laughs> this is awesome. Thanks. Don't be a sore loser, Skeeter. So who's buying? Who, me. who lost the bet? It's me. Yes. <laughs> Here's the catch. I get to order your flavors. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you guys have to get a dill pickle. Uh, Ooh, I would. Awful. Do you think it really is dill pickle flavor? Just get half. 
they say you want one strap to go pick. If it's not good, you just eat around it, Skeeter. Yeah. Oh, man, I'd be such a sad fat kid. <laughs> I want a medium pina colada. And then I'm going to go take out a personal ad. Trevor got it. Should we get one for Tucker that's a dill pickle? Okay, no, we'll get, like, here's okay. the lime. Dude, we know you like dude, lime. This is getting Tucker back, finally. Yeah! Finally. Yeah, this could be me yeah, getting Tucker yeah, back. Can we get uh, half dill pickle and half jalapeno stinger? Can I actually add a jalapeno right now? Okay. It's okay, just do dill, the whole thing dill pickle. <laughs> <laughs> what are we getting even with Tucker for? For the smoke, smoke bomb. Okay, this is from Lizzie. How's your snow cone, Skeeter? All right, let's go surprise Tucker. All right, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Pretty happy that Skeeter had to buy us all snow cones. And remember, there's a little surprise here for Tucker. He's going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Lizzie finally gets to exact her revenge. Yeah. I tasted that, and it is horrible. So, I want to try this just because I'm curious to see how it tastes, okay? Look at this. I'm going to definitely taste some vinegar in there. <laughs> you like lemon lime, Tucker? We did walk the bed and had to buy snow cones. I took a guess and you would be a lime guy, but I'm yeah. just projecting. Tucker, I want you to try it. Mm. You're supposed to eat the whole thing. I know, but what's in it? Clax, it is. Did you taste it? Yeah. How did it taste? What well, flavor was it? Not like lemon or lime <laughs> or whatever. It didn't taste like pickle brine to you? <laughs> he took a swig of it and then he gave it to freaking Caleb. It was bubble. It's pickle. They're no fun. I'm such okay. a fun hater. I've worked here long enough. To We're going to get you back. Lizzie's I am going back. to get you back. I hope you know that. 